for this lightweight scrap. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, with all of that noise, we are underway. Great to have you with us, as always. And we are live tonight from the famed United Center here in Chicago, Illinois. You know, as a kid, I just dreamt of nights at the United Center in Chicago watching the Bulls. You have seen so many champions. Oh, yeah. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, you land out of Is that what we're doing here? and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Setting up a sub here. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. Oh, he's gonna get him with it. You need to work, let's get him the shot. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now he's out of that dark choke. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Than a minute now to go in round one. Well, now you see. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, gotta protect your neck. Can't take choke. He's locked in. Oh, looks tight to me. what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as you can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there great technique to set up the finish all right let's take a look back at the and now our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight we send it inside the octagon here's bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this fight is three rounds in the ufc light heavyweight division Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Monster! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Hesco! Ready to fight? Ready. All right, United Center, Chicago, Illinois, seemingly an annual destination for the combat sports league. Oh, yeah, he's back! And doing work with the jab. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're talking about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. All right, so inside the open. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position, using the opening that his opponent gave him to shove him off and get back up. Connects now with the one, 
catch it. Huge block there. He got him. Another big lead now. Looking for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. Oh, my goodness. That dark choke is very tight. Oh, wow. Making all these shots count. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bump, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Massive shot from the top. He's got to start throwing down. Another one. Cannot miss from the top position. One minute to go on the round. Changing the position. Set up a beautiful submission. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. There's the tag. Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. Holy. Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight. And he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call this shot is always fun. He should be very proud. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. You ready to fight? Ready. Always a rowdy crowd here inside United Center in Chicago, Illinois. And tonight is no different. Great to have a major UFC live event back in the house of MJ. Yeah, this is a massive night for the fans. The fans are always rowdy here in Chicago. They love to see the championships won and championship won. Oh, he got real good, too. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Right back. Right back. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Nice punch to the head. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Power shots continue to land. Oh, beautiful hook there. Oh, big left hand. Oh, nice. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Lands a solid kick right there. So now he lands another combination, so it's next. Oh, oh. Gets back to his feet. Oh, that body shot hurt him. with the ground and pound. Right back. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? 
He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do. Oh, he just hurt him, he just hurt him. Oh, he lands a hook. Oh, huge left. This is a great fight. Great punch landed with so much power. in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheeks. All right, so a big round for him. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both. Oh! Might get the TKO here. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Finds a home for that left hook. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. Nice counter left there. inside this arena at Dyke. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. A light heavyweight division. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go. Sands a big right hand early. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. Right Back to his feet. Oh, big knee! All right, so one minute into the fight. And I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds today. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing. He's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun, and hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your feet. No. Well, there it is again. Look at that. Oh! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. This lightweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. Big fight field here in Chicago, Illinois. We are inside United Center. The house the Buzzer Jordan built. Good to be back in the Midwest where there are droves of next You know, John, championships are won in this building. You see the Michael Jordan statue out front. You know. Oh, it's a Let's go. Keep that press. Get right here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Counters with a right hand. Good head movement there. Nice flip. And now they are throwing both sides with. 
with conviction. Lunges forward with a left there. Nasty body kick downstairs. Just over three minutes to go. Knees to the body. Oh, Superman punch! He's hurt back. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned. Pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Out of range with that one. Leg kick is true. Single collar tie now. Awesome separation. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he didn't like that left hand. So we crossed the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Final seconds here. All right, to next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way. All right, let's now look back at some. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Soul focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Like he should be focused on. Oh! Huge right hand! Do it. 
unable to connect there. Oh, high kick. Oh. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big cut to right hand. Oh, it's just opening up on him now. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Lands a jab. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Now we're going. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. That was a jab. Huge left hand. Midway through round one. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, big elbow. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and kind of let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Back to the feet. He'll be a threat off of his back. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Oh, and he connects there. Left hand. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Back to the point. Oh, he can't even stand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty oh, cut oh. on the bridge of the nose. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Do you believe that this next round is underway? In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. He's got to be careful here. Well, he's got his back now. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Tonight, as he pounds him out for the TKO, I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs> Our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Well, much better to come here in the summer than the winter, but it is great to be inside the United Center here in Chicago, Illinois, where they have long supported the UFC. Yes, for a long time, Chicago has come out when the UFC comes to town. It is a beautiful city, and the fans are always rowdy. It's going to get loud here tonight because championships will be won. Just misses there with the left. Both fighters throwing heat now. Clipped him with the right hand there. It won't take many of those. More strikes to the head. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that push shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just over oh, you turn away, back. Oh, my goodness. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. So here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream here tonight. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. Let's we'll see what he can do. This place is absolutely deafening as the undisputed UFC lightweight champion makes the walk for his latest title defense. This is a huge fight, as big a fight as we can put together at 155 pounds, but the champion thinks it's gonna be one side. Yeah, skill for skill, he's one of the best fighters in the world. That's why when you look at the pound for pound rankings, you always see his name right amongst the top of the guys on the list. He has every skill in mixed martial arts, but I believe it's his mind that separates him from the rest. He has a steel trap of a mind and believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he's the best fighter in the world. Yeah, he was carrying himself this week like a guy who knew something we didn't. We'll see just how one-sided this fight could be in a matter of moments. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, 
presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Silky. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so the MMA leader back in Montreal tonight. We are inside Bell Center where the hockey fans are making noise for him. Dead leg kick hurt. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Miss kick there to the body. Now some spacing as they exit the finish. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. So more output at least in the early going. Able to check the high kick. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points, a huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're gonna do and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are gonna have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. Lightweight champion of the world, Silky. So there he is, and congratulations to the and still UFC undisputed lightweight champion.